Okay, um, I think we're, uh, I think we'll get started. Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the uh, Smurfit School uh, Open Day. Um, I want to, um, uh, I want to welcome you to the school. First of all, I, I sat in the same seat as, uh, as you are seated now. Um, 29 uh, years ago when uh, considering my own uh, master's options. So uh, I feel I have some, uh, I feel I have some sympathy and, uh, and synergy with uh, the situation that you guys uh, find yourselves in. Uh, so, uh, so welcome. Uh, my name is Damien McLaughlin. Uh, I'm professor of marketing uh, at the school. I'm head of the marketing subject area and I have ultimate responsibility uh, for these programs. Uh, we are very, very keen that you would consider us uh, as, as one of your options uh, for September. Uh, we're pretty confident that we uh, have been offering these programs for over 50 years. Uh, obviously not the same program, it's radically different even since when I was a student, uh, but we very much would like to have you um, on our team for, uh, for September. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to give some insights uh, to our program portfolio, a little bit about the school, um, and then my colleague Lisa Madsen um, from our program team, uh, and Elaine and Hearn, and I would be happy to take any questions that uh, that people uh, people have. Um, so maybe I'll start off by just saying that we at the school we have uh, four MSc marketing courses. Uh, we're the largest uh, suite of programs uh, at the school. We have the MSc in marketing. Historically, the MSc in marketing is targeted towards uh, people who are interested in careers uh, in, in brand management. Uh, we have uh, a very successful MSc in digital marketing intended for those people, of course, interested in careers in, in digital marketing. And many of you will know um, that Ireland is a is a hub for the glo global di digital marketing industry. I, I think we've got 10 or 11 of the top 15 um, digital marketing social media companies in the world have their European or international headquarters uh, in Dublin. Uh, we have the MSc in marketing practice, which I'll talk about at the end. It's a slightly different kind of program where we run a consulting business. So I'll talk a little bit about that at the end. Uh, and then we have a newer program, which is the MSc in marketing and, uh, and retail innovation. I wanted to tell you just a little bit about uh, uh, Smurfit School um, and, you know, at any time, but particularly at times like this, where the jobs market maybe is a little bit uh, tighter, although for graduates in particular, it still seems to be really good. The thing you have to bear in mind is that it's not the letters after your name that count. It's the letters that are after the letters after your name. In these kinds of times, it actually really it really matters where you do your postgraduate qualification, and um, the quality um, of of UCD Smurfa School uh, is well established uh, and verified substantially outside um, outside of uh, any statement that I might make. We've had uh, for more than two decades a triple crown accreditations of AACSB. Uh, AMBA and Equus consistently ranking the top 25 schools in Europe and the top 100 worldwide. Um, probably a better metric for, for you to take into account is by our own measures. Uh, most of our students um, are employed very often before they graduate, um, but, but most uh, within six months of graduation, which would be a standard international metric. Uh, our graduates work inevitably in, in, in Google, in Facebook, in LinkedIn, um, in these uh, social and digital media space, but also in more traditional uh, brand management consumer marketing firms like Coca-Cola, Unilever, uh, Jemison's Irish Whiskey, Vodafone, Procter & Gamble, uh, and so on. So any firm that has, uh, has a marketing function, you will definitely find uh, Smurf at School uh, graduates uh, there. I guess as a, as a group, we have a very, very strong group um, of international faculty. Uh, there are about 12 of us. Um, there's only a couple of Irish people left. We have faculty from, from the US, from Germany, from uh, Macedonia, from China. Um, everybody has a PhD. Everybody is very well qualified from a research point of view. And we tend to have a slightly younger group uh, of faculty, which reflects our discipline um, a little bit. As a group, what, we, what we're focused on in our MSc programs is effectively being a training ground uh, to succeed in the real world of marketing. So 
sure we're interested in um, in in the big ideas of marketing, and, and many of those big ideas are being generated uh, by our own faculty. But really, what we're interested in is preparing you for your career and your success um, in the world uh, of marketing. So we very much focus on succeeding uh, in the uh, in the real world. Three ways we do that: we provide knowledge to help you to stick kickstart your uh, career that you can go to an interview and be aware of the latest ideas. In many organizations, the, the employer wants, sees the graduate as a person who brings new ideas. And, and we very much focus on that idea of, of, of you coming to, the, to your employer um, uh, with new ideas. We want to provide you with the skills that require you then to advance uh, in the organization. You know, it's not that difficult uh, to get a job. Uh, it's more of a challenge to proceed through your career. And we very much want to provide those uh, skills for you to proceed and advance uh, in your career over time. And then we want you to be practiced. You know, I think, and I'm talking to many employers over the years, um, and back to this idea of the, it's the letters after your name, not uh, it's the letters after the letters after your name that count. It's the idea of being a recognizable as a, as a Smurfit School graduate, that there are certain things that you just do uh, by virtue of what you have gone through uh, at our school, which really help you out and help you to uh, to advance your career. So let me talk a little bit about, about knowledge. Um, I'm going to focus on three of our programs here. I'm going to talk about marketing practice just in a moment. So across um, the MSc Marketing, the MSc in Digital Marketing, and the MSc in Marketing and Retail Innovation, all students take four core courses. Uh, corporate marketing uh, strategy, consumer insights and analytics, consumers in the digital age, and omni-channel marketing communications. All of these four courses are are what we call research-led courses. What's that? What that means is you will hear ideas about theory and practice which you cannot hear anywhere else because they reflect the research of the faculty members who teach the course. So these are unique courses taken by everybody uh, who uh, is doing an MSc in marketing at the school. Um, but obviously not everybody's in the same room at the same time. So we split out into sections uh, because this year we've got about 250 marketing students. Um, everybody does uh, nine courses or the equivalent of nine courses for 90 credits. So if you take the MSc in marketing, you do these four core courses and then you have some option choices, take a course in, in brand management shopper marketing, leading corporate reputation, behavioral insights and value creation, marketing for social change. And then in the summer of each year, uh, every student in the MSc in marketing uh, will do uh, a major consulting project. So, so typically we do these um, uh, consulting projects for brand names, um, which uh, students who uh, work in Ireland will be familiar with, but also that students who maybe who would like to have a career outside of Ireland that they can have on their CV that they completed a project for for X brand um, and um, that an employer in in India, an employer in the US, an employer, employer, employer in Brazil could say, yes, I recognize that company. So we try and have an international brand involved in that. Um, MSc in digital marketing, we do the same core, core modules. Um, and then students in that stream take uh, advanced uh, SEO and um, uh, SEA. Uh, social media marketing, digital technology and design, branding in the digital age, advanced analytics and big data, digital business models, ECRM, and then they also do a separate digital marketing consulting project where we take on uh, a problem that a company has with its digital marketing. Again, that company would ideally be one um, which is recognizable on a global basis, um, and we solve that problem for them. Those projects are managed by uh, by by, uh, by practitioner faculty. Um, so it's very much you being able to solve a problem when you, when you, get, into, when you get into a company. Um, students on the MSc in Marketing and Retail Innovation do the same core modules. Um, and then they take uh, strategic, market, uh, strategic retail leadership where we bring leaders from uh, the, the international retail sector into the classroom. And we talk about uh, the kinds of issues that they're facing. Um, uh, leading retail innovation, where we talk about new ideas uh, in, in retail, um, and then international retail insights. Um, they also do a retail cons uh, industry consulting project, very much focused uh, on, on digital aspects of retailing um, um, these days, 
again, supervised by a practitioner. And again, you learning project management skills uh, and the ability to execute the ideas from the classroom um, in, the, uh, in, 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 in practice. Um, talk a little bit about, about scales. We focus on six core marketing skills, the ability to think uh, critically about the problems that uh, confront you. Nobody hires uh, graduates at your kind of elite level um, uh, to tell them things that they already know. So what we try and develop in you is this, this ability to think critically about problems, to come up with innovative solutions, to make your own decisions, to be able to manage other people, uh, not necessarily to lead people, uh, in the way that we we think about leaders on white horses with swords uh, pointing forwards, but to be a team member uh, and to lead from the center of a team. A lot of the problems that we focus on, uh, both in, in class projects and also um, in the consulting projects, they're pretty complicated. Um, the, the answer is not uh, obvious. It's that kind of complexity we want you to learn uh, how to solve. Um, there is a whole creative side uh, to marketing and um, uh, that is a very, very important part of our, uh, of our business. Um, but this, these courses are uh, intended to allow you to interact uh, with that creative side uh, of marketing. So yeah, we do cover, we do approach creativity, but not thinking about creativity in the sense of writing uh, or drawing commercials or so on. Uh, but it's the importance of being creative uh, around that. And also communication skills. We would really like that when one of our graduates, one of our team, one of you in 12 months time is standing before an employer that that employer could say, yes, they have the look and the feel uh, of a smart fit graduate. They have very strong uh, thinking and analytical skills. They clearly can make decisions. They, they're they capable of being part of a team, but also leading that team while creating consensus. They were able to deal with a very complex kind of problem and there's evidence of that. They're highly creative, but you know what? They can also communicate their ideas in a way uh, that is very, very uh, persuasive. Uh, again, the, the letters after the letters after your name uh, being uh, being really important here. Um, some of the um, some of the ways that we that we do this, um, we have application driven modules. So you know, marketing today is probably the most dynamic area in business and that's as a result of the information revolution so while as many of our modules as is possible are taught by faculty those faculty are entirely uh, up to date and again as i said earlier on they tend to be younger uh, and more international in in focus um, there are some modules in marketing which cannot be taught by by faculty because they're changing so fast you have to have practitioners so we have a number of application um, uh, driven modules, for example, in digital marketing, search engine optimization and search engine analytics uh, is taught by a, a practitioner, graduate of the school, but nonetheless a practitioner. We very much focus on discussion in the classroom. Um, yes, of course, there'll be PowerPoint, but it's a lot about us working together as a group to solve these complex problems. We focus heavily on, on case study uh, teaching, trying to use newer cases. Um, particularly in that uh, in that um, uh, consumer in the digital age uh, course, everybody learns how to make uh, presentations. So if you're nervous about presentations, this is a great place to come. Very very friendly environment for you to improve, uh, develop, enhance your presentation skills. And we have a lot of individual assignments um, as well as uh, as well as uh, as group projects. So uh, you, at some schools, everything is done through groups. We think it's good that you have things you can do yourself uh, as well as having this experience uh, of working in groups and then of course we have this summer consulting project uh, which I've already uh, I've already talked about I'd like to talk a little bit about the MSc in marketing practice and my slides are changing here because I asked the students uh, on this program uh, could they tell me what should I tell prospective candidates for the program and here are some of the things that they asked me to, to say that the MSc in marketing practice is really two things. It's an MSc in marketing practice, which you would be a student of, and which covers all of the academic components. But it's it's it is also what is effectively a consulting business, which we we call the MDP, uh, but which stands for marketing development and practice. Uh, so the marketing development and practice piece, the MDP piece, we work with real commercial clients for money. Uh, and we solve the complex problems that they have as if we were uh, consultants. 
Um, for this, we use a technology of learning called action learning. And the idea here is that most people have spent three or four years in the classroom learning uh, new theories, new ideas. Um, and um, if you think about the MSc in marketing practice, it's almost like a, a pathway um, to you applying what you have learned in the classroom to real life problems um, in a very, very supportive and, uh, and friendly environment. The program has uh, seven main modules. I'll call it professional development and applied marketing projects um, because uh, these are not classroom based modules and these are about 60% of the course. And basically in these modules, you work with a commercial manager on the program, a commercial management team, um, which um, is, is led in, at the moment by, uh, by three women. Um, and in those teams, you do two things. One is in, in professional development, our colleagues teach you how to be a professional marketer. The three people involved are professional marketing people themselves. And they teach you how to be a professional marketing person. And at the same time, they teach you how to execute applied marketing projects. So you're learning about your own professional skill development. You're also learning how to execute projects. We then do coursework, which is related uh, to the execution of those projects. So digital marketing, uh, customer and market insights, advanced digital marketing, marketing practice, uh, and then the course, which I teach, which is strategic marketing, uh, marketing management. The other thing which they asked me to emphasize is that they uh, very, very heavily focus on personal contact. So in this uh, picture on the left, we have Hugh and Astrid, uh, Angus, um, I can't see who's behind the mask in the corner, Lydia and, and Divjot. Uh, and in times when this was allowed, which we hope will be back to us very shortly, uh, very, very strong interaction. This is what we call a learning set. It's a group of students who are put together uh, to learn from, uh, from each other. Um, and, and they learn to socialize with each other, obviously not learning to socialize, but they are socializing with each other, learning about each other, forming friendships for life. Um, and then everybody's working as well, uh, unfortunately, on Zoom at the moment. But we have had some pretty good interactions um, uh, face to face in our offices uh, at the school. Uh, the kind of projects that that people work on are, are market research uh, on customer uh, customer insights, uh, developing marketing strategies uh, for uh, for companies, um, tactical brand plans um, um, and digital strategy and event implementation. In this picture here, um, uh, this is Jean and the top picture. Jean works for Innocent Smoothies and now she's in last year's class. Um, Thomas is, is a Spurs fan. Uh, uh, Shane in the background uh, has started his, uh, his, own, his own business. And any of you who are, who are Zaga boys uh, will know, probably know Roddy. Um, uh, Roddy has been, uh, Roddy is um, uh, late stages uh, in terms of securing a job with some companies that we think a lot of and I think a lot of him. Um, in terms of these three professional managers, um they um they very much focus on this professional development you are given constant feedback daily weekly um and then there are more formal assessments which form part of your overall degree grade very strong in terms of time management but it's not a question of persecuting you to turn up on time it's how you allocate your time very strong focus on project management skills learning how to manage projects uh, and uh, and teamwork the top picture here is of um um the class uh, of last year, one of our guest speakers, I think from Facebook, because I can't quite see the image correctly. And in the picture below here, we have Peter, who now works for a major consumer goods firm internationally, uh, and Kate, who works for a company called Glowfox, which is a tech startup. Uh, and we also have Roddy here from the previous slide, uh, for any of you uh, who, who recognize that. This program works from nine to five, Monday to Friday. This is what a normal day looks like. A Monday, they have a Monday morning meeting where they talk about the tasks for the week. Then there's a lecture, like a normal lecture you would have in college. You have an hour for lunch. Uh, then we're working on clients. Then we're working on some aspect of professional development. And then sometimes people go home uh, at, at half five. Sometimes they stay later. The image you can see here is of our office. We have our own dedicated uh, offices at the moment because of COVID, working at three offices on the Smurfit campus. Uh, and I think that this program typically has the best Christmas tree on campus. Um, these are uh, some of the clients that we work with, Mini, the car company, Pierce Lyons Distillery, 
uh, all tech. These are some of the international clients we work with and then some uh, domestic businesses as well. Um, the, from the, um, the graduate outcome survey that we conduct, basically 100% of people uh, are employed after six months. This is where the people from the last couple of years uh, have gone to innocent. Um, from last year's class, Danone took two people from last year's class, Alltech, two people from last year's class, uh, Kerry Group, BMW, uh, LinkedIn, uh, and so on. And if you, if you follow this group on LinkedIn, you'll see where people are actually working. The final thing they asked me to say was that the uh, marketing development program is about making friends and connections for life. And you can see this uh, picture here with the baseball bat is um, uh, this is Divjad and Angus, uh, Astrid, Lydia and Hugh. And I'm not quite sure what they're doing with the baseball bat, uh, but it looks like fun. They've had a swimming day out um, in the sea and they've gone for hikes and, uh, and so on. So this is a very, very strong personal, uh, personal kind of uh, interaction on this program. Um, I'm going to skip over this because I think I'd like to get to some questions if we can. This has a slightly different application process. You have to apply with a CV and an essay by the 31st of March and everybody for the MSc in marketing practice is interviewed. But for the other three programs, we just go on your on your GPA. Uh, I guess the final thing I wanted to say is that uh, we very much view the Smurfit School and these four programs uh, as the training ground to succeed in the real world of, of marketing. Um, we would like you uh, to consider being part of our team. We'd be honored if you did apply. And my colleagues and I are absolutely dedicated uh, to preparing you for your career uh, and for your uh, success in your career uh, in, uh, in marketing. And uh, I'm happy to take any questions now, uh, Elaine or Paul. Um, if you could yeah, asked. Damien, there was just one question came in there um, just asking about was, it, was the MDP program a new program or... Um, um, and also just what the entry requirements. So I don't know if you want to just repeat the entry requirements that they slightly differ from our MSc, other MSc marketing programs. Yeah, the MSc in marketing practice has been around since uh, 1981. Uh, so we've, you know, it's around about 40 years old now. I've, I've been running it for 25 years. It was set up by uh, uh, Anthony Cunningham. Um, all, all MSCs of the school have a requirement for a second class honours degree depending on numbers of applications and number of places we have, obviously that GPA requirement goes up. But if you've got a 2-2, um, we would definitely consider you uh, on any of our programs. Um, we would prefer if you had a 2-1 or a first. Um, but the uh, MSc in marketing practice in particular is interested in people who can fit in as part of a team. Um, so if we interviewed you and we felt uh, that you were better suited for another program, we would guide you in that direction. Um, so um, I think the other thing to say, I'm, I'm not sure how this applies across other degrees at the school, but marketing is not a complicate, complicated uh, kind of discipline the way that perhaps some of the quantitative disciplines are. And it's a social science. And we are extremely keen to have people from the social sciences uh, come to one of our, our MSc programs. Um, so if you've got a degree in economics and sociology and social policy, uh, zoology, geography, um, law, any of those kinds of disciplines, we would love to have you in any of our programs, but particularly our marketing practice. I might also say this, um, right now in the market, people who are from a STEM background are extremely in demand in the jobs market. Now, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and maths. Let me translate what that means what that means in real life. If, you're, if you have done nursing, the jobs market is extremely interested in hiring you if you've got a business master's. Uh, radiographers, physiotherapists, uh, occupational therapists, anybody who's done anything in the medical or science field who's decided that they don't want to do that anymore, uh, there is a home for you here. And the jobs market is really, really hot because you've got the combination of uh, of the uh, of the of the two things the other group which is very attractive in the jobs market right now with this layering on top uh, is is teachers um so if you have gone through the rigor of teacher training which if you i'm sure you all have friends who have done that is very very challenging chain training and if you've taught a classroom of children for a year or two that is that is a wonderful discipline and skill set to have if you've decided you don't want to do it anymore 
I can tell you that the commercial world is very interested in taking up your skill set and applying it in, in, in different kinds of ways. So please consider one of these. Um, please consider one of these. Um, if you're from that background, we will take you directly into one of our four programs. There is some catching up to do on your part because you're going to have to learn a little bit about marketing. But we can tell you how to do that fairly quickly. And in fact, if you read one or two books before you come in, uh, that would be more than more than enough. And we tend to we tend to start fast and take off fast. Uh, but we've never had anybody. We've never had anybody who's come from a non-marketing background be disadvantaged in any way. And the jobs market is terrific. Yeah, so you're actually saying you start from ground zero, but everybody's kind of starting from ground zero a bit, really. Yeah, we, it might be useful to read. If you have never studied marketing before, you've never taken a business course before, what I would say is there are one or two books in, in marketing that are worth having a look at or, or watch some videos. Uh, Coursera has a very good basic course on marketing, which you can take for free. It's 10 units. Uh, I would do that. It takes about 10 hours, and then that's enough. You're going to find it. You're going to have to run fast to catch up, but we've never had anybody who couldn't do it, and particularly teachers and particularly uh, people from STEM, particularly nurses, they don't have any problem catching up. Uh, and the jobs outcomes are very, very positive for people in those groups. Yeah, so there's one question here um, regarding the MDP. I'm aware that you work for a company for, for that year. How is it decided which company you're allocated to as a student? Yeah, you don't, you don't work for one company. There's another university in Ireland which has a similar uh, program. Ours was established first and they, they followed. Uh, and they do place people in companies for the whole year. We don't do that. You will be based at our offices at the Smurfett School in Black Rock. And you're required to be in our offices nine to five, Monday to Friday. At any point during the year, you could be working on three to five different assignments for client organizations. So you are not you are not working for a company. You are in our offices um, and you're under our supervision at all times. We're always focusing on your development. But you, you typically have three to five assignments uh, for our client companies during that time. So not, it's not a placement program. Yeah, another question here, Damien, interesting. Somebody's saying, I've worked for a year. Would I be considered for the MDT, MDP program if I'm not coming straight from an undergrad? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you've got five years experience, there's not a lot the MDP can teach you. But if you've got, you know, one year's experience or maybe you've been in Australia for a year working in a bar or, you know, Latin America traveling around, that's that's all fine. If you've got two or three years work experience, you're probably better off thinking about the, the other MSCs. Uh, but like one one year's work experience, no problem. Uh, 18 months, no problem. You get towards two years, you're better off thinking about the others because this, the similarity of experience is too, is too similar to the first yeah. couple of years at work. So another question, just is there a group interview for the MDP? Um, the MDP? A, no, there's not, no. Um, so I suppose just to clarify, the only the only MSc in marketing that requires an interview is the MDP program. That's the only one. Everything else, if you, everything else is if you've got a if you've got a two one uh, from a good a university in Ireland or internationally, uh, and you apply for the MSc in marketing, the MSc in digital marketing, the MSc in marketing and retail innovation, uh, apply to Elaine. We will make you an offer immediately, assuming you meet them that two one requirement. Um, but with the MSc in marketing practice, apply. We'll be having interviews short we interview on a rolling basis uh, so we'll interview as soon as we have a cohort to, uh, to interview we make offers fairly quickly as well um so that's how it works yeah there's another question here just about an ielts of 6.5 we require seven ielts but you can also look at the duolingo exam which we are accepting at the moment and we will take that if you have a 150 so you can come back to us and email us on that um, I, another question, I suppose, is once I applied for the course, when should I expect to hear about it? Well, as Damien said, with the MSCs, we'll come back to you within a week to 10 days. Uh, but with the MDP program, the, the closing date closes on the 24th of March and then the interviews are done after that. So it's about a month after that, Damien. Yeah, it's fairly it's fairly quick. If you need to know if you need to know more quickly for some reason, like a visa, we'll uh, we'll work with that. Um, so we, we're not delaying deliberately, uh, but usually it's usually we make our decision in in, uh, in early April. Yeah, there is a mix of international students as well on the MDP program, but you're yeah. you, know, you, you um, and and that's ongoing, so there's no issue yeah, there. We've, we've had Indians, Chinese, Americans, Americans, Americans yeah, British, yeah. Uh, Russian. Now your English has to be good because you're interacting with clients directly. You know, so you might, Elaine, if you were on our program. Uh, you might be interacting with a client. You would have responsibility to interact directly with a client, let's say with Alltech. You could be working with the global marketing manager directly of Alltech and you have to call her on the phone 
and explain where your project is at. So your English has got to be pretty good. And that's that's the big barrier. Um, so our English. Yeah, and um, last question here, uh, do I need to do a GMAT test? So no, you don't do no. need to do a GMAT test for any of the MSCs or the MP. No. Just an essay and CV and interview for the marketing Only for marketing practice yeah yeah um and the, is there an entrance test for the M MDP as we said no it is only um uh, you've got to do the essay and the, yeah. and, the interview. Uh, and is a 2-1 from an IT sufficient so uh, just to reiterate what Damien said 80% of our programs we accept you from a non-business background so there is only uh, one or two very unique so come and talk to us um, we take a holistic view on your second class honours and we take a holistic view on your background what we will do is we will advise you that if you're looking at doing an MSc in a quant program and you don't have a quant background we'll advise you that it's probably not the best uh, decision for you but for well, with marketing programs uh, that isn't really the case yeah. Uh, was, the, was the question if you have a two one from an institute of technology? An institute. Oh yeah, sorry. Maybe you're right, Damien. Sorry. <laughs> well, we, an IT. We, love, we love people from the institutes of technology. DIT. We have a great relationship with. I'm a graduate of DIT as well. Cork IT. I know all these names have changed. Cork IT, Waterford IT, mm -hmm. the DIT. We've had and other ITs. We've had tremendous success because they tend to have a very very strong focus. Uh, on skills and we we feel we can add something uh, to that and the employment prospects for people from the ITs with 2-1 from an IT an MSE from Smurf it's good I think that's a very very strong job proposition yeah. for uh, for the market and actually we're attending a uh, Damien we're attending the Letter Kenny virtual open day yeah. to present to them the Letter Kenny IT so yeah absolutely Kelsey we're open to ITs yeah, of course so. yeah. And just, I suppose, to reiterate that all our programs are actually still open and we're still looking, we have a rolling admissions policy. So it's always worth, to, uh, you know, to keep, like, apply, you know, um, even if you apply now for the more demanding programs, uh, the MSc Digital Marketing, we were one of our most uh, in-demand program. Um, places are, are can be limited, so you need to get your applications in. But we do have a rolling admissions policy, so we do at time to time get people who have applied and then they drop out. So I would just say to you, you know, don't don't be shy about getting your application in and coming to talk to us. We're open, um, and our uh, email address is um, smurfitadmissions at ucd.ie. But also my email is up on the website if you want to email me directly. Is, I don't think I, I don't think there's any other questions in there. Did you want, Damien? I don't think there's anything else on this. Yeah, I, I can't see them, so I, I'm. I'm being you're yeah, sorry, you're at a disadvantage. Well, we're ten thirty-three, so we're slightly over time. So, um, but just thanks everybody for coming. Uh, we we really appreciate it, and we'd really appreciate it if you would consider us. Uh, we take every individual who comes on our courses extremely seriously, and and your success is our success. So I look forward to seeing many of you in September. Thanks. I suppose so I should Jamie, sorry, the last three things just to say what is very unique about us in Smurfit is that we have three additional programs that are there are no charge for, which is the intercultural development program, um, which is a, an excellent program and looks really good on your CV. Uh, we have the personal development program, which is very unique to us in Smurfit, um, and that um, MSc students can apply for that. So it's it's a program that you can look. We also have a dedicated careers um, uh, department, so you can start working with the career, careers department once you arrive in September, and they'll work with you on your CV, they'll work with you on your um, on your applications, they'll work with you on companies that you'd like to target, and they're actually doing a, a talk at half three to day so just it's a good idea that, but from a unique point of view we do look at all your development so it's not just about um the academic side we are looking at your own personal development in your cv okay lisa have you anything to add there no i just i just to say i'm lisa madsen and i'm the program manager for the msc marketing and the msc marketing retail innovation so if you do apply to those programs next year you'll be working very closely with me so if you do have any questions relating to those two programs you can drop me an email at just lisa.madsen at ucd.ie so, and i suppose yeah. that's another thing to iterate lisa is every program has its a dedicated program manager so they work with you whether you have any questions or any issues on a day-to-day -day basis um, and uh, so I suppose that it is again is quite unique um, and we look forward to hearing from you all and our emails are up on the website thank you again thanks all thank you bye bye have a good day